Florida Florida State, live updates, score, analysis for Week 13 game, November 25, 2017. The Florida Gators will look to end their season with a win against the rival Florida State Seminoles. Below find the score and live updates for the game. The Gators picked up their first win under Randy Shannon last week by beating UAB. The Seminoles have won the last four meeting between the two schools. This is the first time since 1959, the second year of the series, that both teams have had losing records entering the annual rivalry showdown. Florida can snap Florida State's streak of 35 straight bowl game appearances with a win. Q2, 747, Florida State 17, Florida 7. Florida defense tightens up after FSU sets up a first and goal on the four. Cease Jefferson set the tone for the stand with a blazing fast tackle for loss on first down, and the Seminoles settled for a 25-yard field goal. That said, a 10-point deficit is daunting for this Gators offense. QB Felipe Franks is having another very Franksian performance. The ground game is going to have to do the bulk of the work. On an injury note, linebacker Vozine Joseph returned on that defensive series after hobbling off the previous drive. Q2, 1424, Florida State 14, Florida 7. The Seminoles again made the Gators pay for a turnover, needing just three plays to find the end zone on a 21 yard pass from James Blackman to Naquan Murray. Nice pass from Blackman. Give him credit there. Florida also had linebacker Vozine Joseph hobble off the field during that series, replaced by Keelan Johnson. Linebacker is the Gators' thinnest position group, so any further personnel loss there is significant if Joseph can't return. Something to monitor. Q2, 1500 hours, Florida 7, Florida State 7. Another turnover deep in its own territory for Florida as Felipe Franks missiles a short pass to Brandon Powell that goes off the receiver's hands and ends up as an FSU interception at the Gators' 20-yard line. I guess that's a dropped pass, but no need to throw that ball 130 miles per hour. Either way, not an impressive start for Franks, who really needed to put something good on film for the next coach to evaluate. I don't know what his role is next season at this point. Q1, 403, Florida 7, Florida State 7. The Swamp is rocking after back-to-back -back impact plays from the Florida secondary and a subsequent Gators touchdown. The momentum swing started when safety Chauncey Gardner Jr. delivered a jarring hit to force a pass breakup and then cornerback Marco Wilson disrupted another pass that ended up with Duke Dawson plucking it out of the air. That gave the Gators possession at the Florida State 24 and even the turnover margin while setting up Mark Thompson's eventual 10-yard touchdown run. Dawson tied freshman C.J. Henderson for the team lead with four interceptions, Gardner continued his late-season resurgence and Thompson is going to close his Florida career playing the best he has in his two years in Gainesville. In general, this team has come to play today, which was expected after their bounce-back performance last week. 11 games into the season and there's still no reason to believe he's ready to lead an SEC offense. Q1, 548, Florida State 7, Florida 0. The crowd here at the Swamp is filling in as the first quarter progresses. There are a lot of reports of bad traffic on I-75, delaying the arrival of many fans. Given that the records of these two teams, even for a rivalry matchup, this is a pretty respectable turnout. Q1, 1052, Florida State 7, Florida 0. Well, that was bad news for the Gators all around. Felipe Franks is hit while trying to throw, fumbles, Florida State's Jacob Pugh returns at 16 yards for a touchdown and Franks comes off the field favoring his right throwing arm. Franks is Florida's only active scholarship QB today with Malik Zaire, knee, injured. He was able to throw some soft passes on the sideline after the hit, but this will be something to monitor. Wide receiver D.R.E. Massey, a former HSQB, and walk-on Nick Sproles are the Gators' backup quarterback options. Update, Franks looked fine throwing a 15-yard pass to Brandon Powell on the next series. Q1, 1247, Florida 0, Florida State 0. 
appreciate the decision to go for it, but ugly play. Florida squanders nice field position on opening series after 37-yard kickoff return by Adarius Lemons. Florida State takes over at its own 42-yard line. I believe this game comes down to Florida's ability to stop FSU's rushing attack. I don't think Seminole's QB James Blackman can do enough with his arm to win this game. Florida Florida State Football, Game Time Time, the Florida Florida State game is scheduled for noon ET. Location, the Florida Florida State game is set to be played in Gainesville, FLA. What TV channel is the Florida Florida State game on? The Florida Florida State game will kick off on ESPN at noon ET. Can I live stream the Florida Florida State game? Live stream, yes, you can watch the Florida Florida State game on Watch ESPN. Can I listen to the Florida Florida State game on the radio? Radio, fans can click here for radio options for the Florida UAB game. Florida Florida State Football Game Preview Via Florida's SEC Countries Team The Florida Gators, 4-6 close out their regular season on Saturday when they host the Florida State Seminoles, 4-6, at Ben Hill Griffin Stadium. Kickoff is set for noon ET and the game will be televised on ESPN. The Gators are looking to end their four-game losing streak to the Seminoles and end a trying season that's been filled with distractions, twists and turns with back-to-back -back wins. The Seminoles are looking to keep their 35-year streak of bowl eligibility alive by winning their final two games, against Florida and Louisiana Monroe. Florida beat writers Zach Abolverde, Jordan McPherson, and Ryan Young make their predictions for how the game will unfold. Zach Abolverde, a great game is all we can hope for. This is the most unanticipated Florida-Florida State game in the last three decades, at least that I can remember. Even when Florida State was having a down year or Florida had a coach on his way out, the rivalry still delivered intriguing storylines, Heisman Trophy candidates and great games. On Saturday, the last one is all we can hope for. With both teams at 4-6 and starting freshman quarterbacks, perhaps we'll get a competitive matchup that comes down to the wire. This rivalry game will come down to who wants it more. The Gators have home field advantage. It will be an emotional senior day and they're trying to avoid a five-game losing streak 